At the Valencia test last month, Marc Marquez sent a very, very huge message to his opponents, while the entire MotoGP paddock was monitoring his every move. For the first time in his career, the eight-time world champion mounted a Ducati MotoGP bike and shown his ability to be a formidable force with this year's title-winning package. Marquez finished the Valencia test in fourth place. Marquez left Honda following one of the most successful periods in the history of the sport. Welcome to Bike GP. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates. His degree of confidence with the bike, which was further demonstrated when he got off his machine and appeared happier than we've seen him in a long time, was more telling of his strength than his finishing place. Returning to pit lane, Marquez grinned and raised his eyebrows, clearly satisfied with the GP23 bike. As the day progressed, though, his strength only grew. Marquez challenged his fastest laps from the racing weekend on the Honda after putting together a few sessions in which he achieved incredibly fast lap times. It is evident that Marquez still possesses potential, but the RC213V has prevented him from consistently demonstrating it. However, it doesn't seem like he will have any trouble doing that at Ducati, especially considering that he received the championship bike from the previous season. Why bike was used in the title fight between Francesco Bagnaia and Jorge Martin, which is one compelling argument why Marquez may pose a challenge to the championship. What's even more significant, though, is that Ducati manufactures bikes that are competitive for more than one season. Riding one-year-old bikes, Alex Marquez, Marco Bezzecchi, and Fabio Di Gianantonio all took home victories in 2023. All three of those riders are extremely skilled, but it shouldn't come as a shock to hear that Marquez is a completer and more gifted rider than those three. When considering potential title candidates for 2024, Marquez should be considered in the same category as Bagnaia and Martin due to his undeniable talent and the Ducati bike, which is now the greatest package on the grid. When it comes to its riders and allowing them to compete for the title, even if it's against a factory rider, Ducati is also quite fair. Team orders may apply, but if the non-factory rider has a realistic chance of winning the championship, that is unlikely to be the case. Several influential Ducati figures have emphasized Grissini's independence, which has created an intriguing dynamic between Marquez and the Italian manufacturer's executives. Former Ducati racer and three-time MotoGP champion Lorenzo said that Mark's joining was wonderful news for the team because it meant they would have the greatest rider at no expense. However, there's another issue, not all Ducati officials were in favor of Mark. Given that Gigi regularly chases the fastest riders, it is obvious that he desired him. But we are concerned about two things. The first is losing Mark after just a year, since he would then take all of his knowledge with him. The other is that he is capable of defeating Jorge Martin and Francesco Bagnaia. I believe he will win numerous races in the upcoming season. Although I'm not sure if he can win the battle, if I had to place a wager, I would back him. Marquez, like the majority of riders on the MotoGP grid, signed a one-year contract and will therefore be free to pursue new chances in 2025. Marquez might decide to study the mysteries of the Desmo Sedici for a year before moving on to something else. Lorenzo contributed to the development of Gigi's Desmo Sedici project, although he had two unsatisfactory seasons with Ducati. Despite Lorenzo's difficulties, teammate Andrea Dovizioso finished third in the championship for three consecutive years, just behind Honda's Marquez. Regarding Ducati's dominance of MotoGP today, Lorenzo remarked, I knew Gigi could do it. He is obstinate and always one step ahead of everyone in technology. In actuality, he has consistently produced the top 125cc Superbike and MotoGP bikes. I chose to switch from Yamaha to Ducati because I was confident that it will become the greatest motorcycle for that reason alone. They would have probably created it without me, but I sped up the process and made the bike more comprehensive and user-friendly for all riders," said Gigi. The bike had amazing power and cutting-edge aerodynamics when I got to Ducati, but I also made him realize that rideability was important. Today's riders are quick, and the Desmo Sedici travels a great distance. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for new upcoming videos of MotoGP. Thanks for watching.